This is what happens if you can't touch. Ah! 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 I think you get the picture. I'm super close to unlocking my typing speed potential, but my brain just doesn't want to cooperate. So I've gotten by this far in life with my lack of typing skills, mainly because I had a bit of a secret. I'm a keyboard looker. Obviously, this isn't very efficient, but it's been fine and well like, when I'm working by myself. It did always get a bit awkward when someone else was beside me though, mainly because of my ego. Like I didn't want anyone to actually see me looking down at the keyboard. Hey Ed, what you working on? Mind if I take a look? Okay, that's not realistic. I never wore dress shirts at work. In school, we did our keyboarding class and again, I got by fine, but I never really practiced the good behaviors and always went back to my old ways. So I'm kind of dating myself, but we use good old Mavis Beacon, the legendary goddess of typing herself. So yeah, my self-diagnosed ADHD uh, never really helped me to stay focused on learning how to touch type. Combined with the fact that I could type at a respectable enough pace, you know, looking down at the keyboard, uh, I never really had the motivation to go ahead and learn how to touch type properly. So. Here we are and uh, let's get to it. The main site I'll be using to benchmark my typing speed is 10fastfingers.com. Wise words from a wise woman. So let's see where we've been. One problem I have is that my pinky fingers are essentially useless, even when I'm looking down at the keyboard. They have absolutely no dexterity and pretty much only presses the shift key when I'm typing. Because of that, my ring finger has been getting double duty. I'm gonna have to try to retrain my finger to touch type properly, which will definitely be a challenge, but hey, those are the cards that we've been dealt and they could always be worse. Ah! Okay, so just to get a baseline, uh, I'm gonna do a typing test on 10 fast fingers while I'm looking down at the keyboard. Here we go. One minute, 37 seconds later. Fifty nine words per minute. I mean, not the greatest, but definitely it's been good enough uh, for me to get by without any real problems. Okay, so we're gonna try the same test, but this time without looking at the keyboard. Okay, so let's do it. <laughs> so I'm fat fingering a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the uh, the letters. Oh man, this is tough. <laughs> oh, I'm worried. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. 22 words per minute. Ah, this is going to be tough. So while I'm using 10 fast fingers to assess my typing speed, I'll be using typeracer.com to actually practice. So 10 fast fingers throws a whole bunch of random words at you. Whereas Type Racer is a gamified experience where you race against others typing excerpts from actual media, be it books, movies, songs, you name it. Okay, so given where we're starting from, I'm gonna call hitting 60 words per minute. I'm gonna call that a success because that basically equals where I'm at while I do look at the keyboard. And I guess a stretch goal of 75 words per minute, I <laughs> just because, hey, you know, it's, it's something higher than, than 60. So if it takes me too long, then, you know, I'm going to have to end it. But yeah, time to get to work. As far as any other tips, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube that'll be able to help you out with that much better than I ever could. Uh, and I've linked a, a few awesome ones that I've checked out personally myself down in the description down below. There are no shortcuts. There's no cheat codes. I'm just gonna have to put in the work and it's gonna take some practice. Practice? We're talking about practice, man. Forty-five. Okay, getting there. Getting there. Oh, yes. All right. Awesome. I gotta say that feels good. And yeah, we hit we hit our goal of 60. So let's keep going. Let's go for that stretch goal. Yeah, we'll see. 
69 though, oh, okay, 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 I'm getting there. Stop right there, you know what you did to me at that. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, 78! 78! We did it! Top 20%. So from... What did I start with? 20... 20 something words per minute to 78 words per minute. Yeah, wow. Wow, that feels good. Saving time is, you know, a huge reason to wanting to type faster. To kind of put it in perspective, let's say in an average work day you bang out 30 emails a day, each averaging around 80 words per minute. Or not 80 words per minute. Oh. 80 word email uh, that works out to 2400 words on just those emails. So at 40 words per minute, it would take exactly one hour uh, to type out all those emails. So if you leveled up that speed to 60 words per minute, you'd actually save 20 minutes every day, which works out to, I mean, I did the math in advance, that's why I'm looking at my screen. That works out to 86 hours per year. So that's crazy. That's over three and a half days alone just on typing. While saving time is awesome, there's been one score I've been looking to settle for a number of years. The Typing of the Dead. 